glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of Him, Good morning and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Those who are infected and those who are under the spell of fear of the Omicron variant, we welcome you to this celebration in the consolation of God, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Today, as we reflect together, that equal discipleship before God, especially on the, the response in silence of Hannah. May God forgive us when we do not create equal discipleship in church and in society. O oh God, we have sinned against you, especially in our evangelizing efforts. We have failed to bear witness to a God of equality and just and inclusive society. So in our forgiveness, we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord our God, in our loving kindness, forgive us all our sins. And may this God bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, attend to the cries of your people and our fears with your care. Pray that we may see that you are still active in our world amidst this pandemic through us, through the power of your Spirit. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramathaim, Elkanah by name, a Zuphite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zup, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one named Hannah, the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hopni, and Phinehas were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters, but a double portion to Hannah, because he loved her, though the Lord had made her barren. Her rival, to upset her, turned it into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year. Each time they made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord, Penina would approach her, and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband Elkanah used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep, and why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? 
Am I not more to you than ten sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the good news according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And Jesus passed by the Sea of Galilee. He saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishing people. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of people. Then they left their nets and followed Jesus. He walked along a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too went in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired people, and followed Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hannah's silence disturbs me. After Alkanah spoke to her, all is silence on Hannah's part. I can only surmise that, like Mary, Hannah is pondering on what the husband, Elkanah, said to her, Am I not worth more to you than ten sons? You know, I really wish Hannah to deflect those same words to her husband. Elkanah, am I not worth more to you than ten sons? Deflecting those same words in the silence need to sting our conscience as men privileged by a patriarchal or male-dominated society. For me, the silence in between Hana and Alkana is what I call the third space that God has opened up to raise her up in her dignity as a barren woman in a male-dominated society. In Nam Son Kang, a Korean woman scholar's view, this third space empowers voices from marginal points of view. Here, Nam Son is thinking of women in their barrenness of the womb, speech, and dignity as well. This third space is for the mobilization of courage and the emergence of wisdom hewn from suffering barrenness of the womb, speech, and dignity. According to black feminist thought, Audrey Lorde suggests the depth of silence in the third space holds an incredible reserve of creativity and power, of unexamined and unrecorded emotion and feeling, 
For the women's place of power within each of us is neither white nor surface. It is dark. It is ancient. It is deep. In this third space, Audrey Lords believes that lives for the modern Hannahs in our contemporary world is like the black and colored mothers who go beyond plateaus, I think, and therefore I am, to the more poetic position. We whisper in our dreams. We feel, therefore, we can be free. In this way, the barren and black women offer a name to the nameless, first made into language, then into idea, then into more tangible actions of freeing themselves from their barrenness and oppression. So thank you, Hannah, for your deafening silence that stings us, male in our conscience, as victims of patriarchy. May God liberate us in our silence, our barrenness of bold dreams. May God free us to be creative enough to whisper in our dreams that we can be free with God on all sides because God's kingdom is near, is among us. Amen. Amen. As a people chosen by God, let us present before our Father the needs of all people. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our pastors, called by God to be fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel, by their witness of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to his service may respond generously to his call, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays. Sister Cheryl Reyes, Goya Totana Santo Domingo, Tony Galvez, Mavi Zuniga, Conching Jimenez, Sister Nori Marquez. For the healing of Guy Maronilla, Wiljan Maronilla, Catherine Barba, Heidi Francisco, Lingoy Baby Cucci, and Miko Alcuas. Sonia Saldana. We pray for the repose of the souls of Ramon Fernandez and Fernie Pablo, and for the special intentions of Earl and Tammy Lim, Narcisa Escaler and family, Serge and Paquín de la Fuente, Terry Maglayo and family, BCBP Alabang, St. Paul University, Philippines, Tugegarao, Peimaya staff, Jess and Beth de la Fuente on their wedding anniversary. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. So Lord God, these are the prayers we offer to you. May you grant them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our offering this morning be acceptable to God, the Almighty and Merciful. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. May your people who are barren of ideas and creativity and wisdom, O Lord, find in you a solace, source of joy and courage. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he freed us from the yoke of sin and death and an unequal society and church, summoning us to be the glory of being now called as a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere that God's kingdom is near. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. O God, in your loving kindness, we pray for the outpouring of your Spirit on all humankind in our common home, especially those who are infected and those who live in fear, that we may regain our creativity, courage, and wisdom, and therefore bless our offerings so they become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At supper, the Lord Jesus took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, filling it with wine, he said a blessing, gave the chalice to all, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This blood is shed for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of bodies and relationships. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you this morning in thanksgiving for the gift of yourself to all humankind. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son be filled with the courage and creativity and wisdom of God's Spirit. May God make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the call to create a kingdom of equal discipleship. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim and synodal church on us, with your servant Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, with all the bishops, the superior generals, the baptized, consecrated, and ordained for your service. We ask you, O Lord, to listen graciously to the prayers of all of us who attend this Eucharist online. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your daughters and sons scattered throughout the world. To all those who breathe their last at this Eucharist as we pray, and reach out to them in spirit and prayer. May you, O God, be merciful and welcome them into your presence. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. For we truly believe that it's through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's turn to our God, the God of equal discipleship, as we pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, O Lord, from the spell of the Omicron variant. Deliver our hearts from the barrenness of creativity, courage, and wisdom, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I offer you. Look not on our sins, but look on the deep faith and openness we have in you. And may you grant us that peace and unity of your kingdom that lasts forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign and the peace of God. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take, take away the sins. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, this is the Lord Jesus, the source of God's wisdom and courage and creativity. Happy are we who are called to this supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments, our celebration today, may also serve with lives pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for, for us. So dear friends, uh, before we ask for blessings, be assured of our prayers wherever you are, especially your loved ones who are infected. We are with you in this Eucharistic celebration in our daily prayers. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May the God whose kingdom is with us, with health, with creativity, courage and wisdom, bless all of us in your families, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is celebrated. Let us go in the joy and the courage and the wisdom of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sing 